Breaking the Wall of Climate Inaction. Chris Cameron, Victoria University of Wellington, New Zealand. This generation's nuclear free moment. We have screeds of science, mountains of information, but almost no real action to address climate change. This wall is a barrier between the science and the solutions. Breaking down the wall of climate inaction is about awareness. It's about collaboration. And it's ultimately about finding solutions to address climate change. We've seen flooding like this in Auckland. And some people have found some better ways to get around that city. We're starting to see the effects on our economy and our society. But a global solution requires, sorry, a global problem requires a global solution. And if solutions are not happening in reality, let's learn from the virtual world. Introducing Adaptive, an online multiplayer game simulating climate impacts, where players choose how best to respond. Our key point of difference is that we harness the methods and the approaches taken by players for analysis and application to the real world. Gaming is a multi-billion dollar industry with millions of players worldwide. We can make use of players' deep engagement in games to harness the power of many for the good of humankind. So, with flooding like this expected in Wellington, what would you do? Would you defend investing in massive infrastructure such as stop banks or floodgates? Would you accommodate? Would you welcome water in to become a new Venice? Or would you sound the retreat, looking to move away from these areas. In Adaptive, you are in control. You use your problem-solving skills alongside others, collaborating to find the best solutions. And this is where we really innovate. We use artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze thousands, even millions of strategies for application in the real world. Output from Adaptive will be sought after for use by experts and communities alike. For discussion and decision making on their future, our futures. So join me in becoming Adaptive. Kira tato.